guess at what some of you might be thinking. I bet this chick is smart. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a common stereotype that I fight on a daily basis. <laughs> Why are people who wear glasses always mistaken for being smart? Oh, uh, Laura, what's the square root of uh, 1,296? I don't know. Bismarck? <laughs> no, no, seriously, is it Bismarck? I, I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not smart, y'all. I'm just nearsighted. Just for once, just once, I wish someone would mistake me for this slut. I really am. <laughs> She's really easy. <laughs> no, in all reality. Wow, that girl with the glasses and novelty t-shirt, I bet she could tutor me in math. <laughs> in eighth grade, this one kid always, always tried to cheat off me in math class. Hey, Laura, what's the answer for number 25? I, I don't know. Fine, you goddamn teacher's pet. By the time I got to high school, I just gave up and let them cheat off me. And they deserve those C's and D's. <laughs> it's like, wait, you're, okay, you're cheating off me? I'm cheating off her. <laughs> I hope one of us knows the right answer. So, uh, the only reason why I ever passed chemistry in high school and college is uh, I always weaseled my Bill and I, the science, scientist guy, dad, into doing my chemistry homework. I have this gift of turning the most simple question like, Dad, what's an electron? into a completed worksheet. Worked every time. <laughs> Nowadays, my glasses seem to serve as uh, an icebreaker in conversations with new people, especially the guess what someone does for a living game. So, Laura, what do you do? Oh, let me guess. Librarian. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Would you mind holding my Dewey Decimal catalog while I go get a beer? Thanks. <laughs>